Well, it may be mid-season in the Women's National Basketball League, but Rachel Spawn, in the past couple of weeks, we've seen games with playoff-like intensity and Sydney Townsville was just terrific. Oh, it was such a high standard. It was just electric right from the start. Um, just the high energy from the girls, the high energy from the crowd. It was just fantastic. And there was so much to like about this match right from the start. Obviously, Kayla Francis was pretty integral. Steph Cumming, she just did this all game, nailed the shots when they really needed them. Leilani Mitchell had a great impact, particularly in the first quarter, as did Katie Ray. Ebsery and we know that uh, players like Casey Samuels was a real great um, inclusion for Sydney today with her contribution but just all over the floor there was too many players to stop at times from both teams we just didn't know where the scoring was going to come from so that's what made it so enjoyable was just high standard Great finishing off by all of the players. And we know the uh, MVP there, Susie Bakovich, she was unstoppable at times. Townsville were favourites coming in, being on top of the ladder, but Sydney, to their credit, well, they stuck to their guns and then were right in the game up until the last 90 seconds where a single basket separated the teams. But it was the overall quality of Townsville and the way they play as a team, and there's a perfect illustration of it, that they are really combining well and make it so difficult for their opponents. Well, they have such great player ball movement and that they don't take many bad shots. Their shot selection is very good. And we know that when the bigs get doubled, they know that their uh, guards are going to be ready, spotting up to take the shot. So that's uh, what great teams are about, is um, knowing who's open and knowing that you've, who's got the ball, yep, they're going to shoot up. I'm going to get into the offensive rebound because that's what Townsville did really well tonight as well. And while they lost Sydney, they'll take a lot of positives out of this game, not the least of which is the fact that they were able to match it for, with Townsville for large periods of the game without Rohani Cox, who's one of their key players. Absolutely. And, you know, Rohani Cox, an Olympian, um, she was contributing, I think, 9.7 rebounds per match. Johnson and uh, Ruth are doing a great job, actually, because you're playing against uh, two of the best post players in Australia in Francis and Bakovic. So they matched it at times. You're right, Sydney have to take credit to this game because Townsville didn't run away with it. And in the final analysis, well, they got home by seven points. It was 93-86 in favour of Townsville. They are now 8-2 and two on top of the WNBL ladder and warming as favourites for this year's title. <laughs>